I'm Dr. Joseph Maroon. I'm a neurosurgeon at the University of Pittsburgh, and I've been the team neurosurgeon for the Pittsburgh Steelers for many years. I'm Rob Bernard, a primary health care provider for multiple operational units. The InfraScanner is a handheld, lightweight system that uses a disposable fiber optic shield for patient interface. It uses near infrared technology to detect intracranial bleeding. It provides a simple positive negative report that helps to identify those patients who may need immediate referral for a CAT scan and or neurosurgical evaluation. The infant scanner can detect a hematoma in size of 3.5 cc's in volume at a distance of 3.5 centimeters from the scalp surface. The InfraScanner does not replace the CT scan. It actually is a very efficient triage tool that leads to more efficient use of CT scans. The patient can easily present to me asymptomatic. There would have been no reason for me to move this patient to the front of the line. But if I'm getting a positive InfraScan, that patient is immediately moved to the priority. The InfraScanner is an optimal instrument to use in transit, be it an ambulance, an airplane, or wherever. And another advantage is the repeated measurements can be obtained over the course of hours or days. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the system is fully charged or has fresh AA batteries. The system provides an hour and a half on the rechargeable batteries and up to two hours with the AA batteries. Well, the battery indicator light is actually located in the top right of the screen. If you see you get a low battery indicator, you have approximately one to five scans remaining. Another way is to navigate to the settings screen, which will give you the percentage of battery life remaining. In the event you're in a clinical or hospital environment and you do have a power source, you do have the option to use the rechargeable batteries within the InfraScanner. Once you plug in the device, it's going to blink for 10 seconds you may insert the InfraScanner into the cradle. The orange lamp will blink and you will know the InfraScanner is charging. If disposable batteries are in the InfraScanner, the red fault light will come on. Snap on the disposable fiber optic shield and then wait 15 seconds for the system to power on. One must take eight data points, starting on the patient's left, moving to the right for four separate data pairs so that there are symmetrical readings on both sides on all four points. The pressure must be firm but not painful, and then it must be consistent and symmetrical on both sides. You have to have equal pressure on each side because that's what it's measuring. It's measuring the optic density, but it's extremely important to prevent an error code to have that equal pressure. When you press the button, you immediately release it, you'll hear an audible beep. If you're in a really loud environment and you're unable to hear that audible beep, the screen will actually go blank. When it's done with the read or the scan for that region, it will flash back on. As someone who has spent a long time in sports medicine, concussions have become a major component of managing athletes with head injuries. As we mentioned, concussions are sometimes rarely, I might add, associated with intracranial hematomas. In the past, we would routinely obtain CAT scans to rule out that possibility. Uh, I've been able to use this in sports medicine, uh, in professional football players, as well as college uh, football players, in evaluating them for concussions concurrently to do an InfraScanner and satisfy myself that a CAT scan would not be indicated at that time, and clinical valuation and further judgment uh, would be more appropriate. So that we've been able to use this again as a triage instrument for, to more effectively utilize CAT scanning in athletes with concussions. I can give you a great example of why the InfraScanner is extremely important. Individual a patient, motor vehicle accident, entered the ER, fully conscious, coherent, able to follow commands, which is a normal Glasgow coma scale. There was a positive InfraScanner over to the right parietal region. The InfraScanner was able to detect a subdural hematoma. So therefore, he immediately moved up to the head of the line, confirmed via computer tomography or CT, and the young man was rushed into surgery and he's doing, he's doing fine. 
But I think that, that really comes into play the, the importance of the infrascanner.